Uh, it's June 10, uh, 2001, and we are in uh, Space 158 in the northern uh, part of the space, looking at the relationships of the following features. The interior wall, feature 160, the remains of the pillar of the screen wall, feature 156, the interior um, east-west wall, which is feature 623, and the large oven, which is feature 646, and uh, another roundish feature, which does not have a feature number yet, but it will. And the reason we are looking at it at this point is because there are some uh, nice uh, relationships shown on uh, of, uh, This pillar has been put on top of this whole packing, sequence of packing. And the pillar is, of course, later. But uh, before it was put in place, okay. we had packing of this roundish feature by putting a brick sideways in. We have the red brick here that belonged to the earlier interior wall or something else, some other feature of that similar sort, which is contemporary with this roundish feature, contemporary with this internal little feature in the wall, and contemporary with, with a big oven over here that I'm standing on. So then we had all these features that I have mentioned in place when uh, this whole area was packed with things and it was really molded with another layer of clay that was put on top here on this junction. And we have remains of that clay here on the, above the, on top of the red brick and we had it on top of this wall, and we have it on top of this roundish feature. And we find it here in this area. So what I'm saying then, these earlier features were covered with a layer of clay, filled in, covered with a layer of this um, light brown clay, and that was used as a foundation for laying the, this pillar, putting this pillar in. That's it for now. <laughs> This is a multiple burial, and we've actually found two now individuals that are articulated, so that is a breakthrough. It is. I know it sounds like a little one, but for us it's a big one. I made it look like a basin. <laughs> I think it really is. <laughs> See how important it was I didn't excavate that right away. We had so much to do in here. It's all my fault. This thing right here, it's where the skull was. And the reason we're preserving it, we took it out last night because it was coming up. It's so crazy. And I wanted to keep it in because it looks like it was out there. See, it just gets less and less of the skin down here. I think it's made deeper. You think it's deeper? I think it dies? Mm -hmm. Or maybe this is your edge, and having the same situation as we have here.
obviously something is happening at yeah. this point. We, we are getting onto this different crumbly, uh -huh. dry sort of, dry red crumbly soil. Yeah. So th this would be the edge of your feet, which is damaged. Mm -hmm. It's incomplete. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> this is completely <laughs> the yoked, jammed. <laughs> this is not what I paid for. Mm -hmm. You're spending your money on this yeah. stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't do this to me. Yeah, I think this is prob this is certainly yeah. the extent of it, and we don't have the proper other uh, edge, and this is the stuff below it. Mm -hmm. Well, below or next, I don't know. Now what you need to do, mm -hmm. you need to very carefully, when I'll, I'll finish this bit, Okay. And uh, but you need to carefully clean like this whole area, so we again look at the relationship. Okay. So is that kind of explanation the first time um, that you, you know, come up with? No, that's what we were, that's what we were, that's what we were working with on, is why, right? Is it, that's more typical. Then when you find what's over there, like this is what's over there, the top layer is so jumbled, that underneath is you're going to find what you're going to do. That's what you would expect, and that's what we found. No, it would have been a, a little different if, in fact, we hadn't found those articulated ones because, in fact, then, you know, what is really going on? Mm -hmm. Because these, um, uh, you know, when people die, the bones are, in fact, you know, they continue to be held together. And you tell all of the soft tissue does, in fact, destroy, and then they'll, you know, end up like this. But in a jumble, that means they have them disturbed, and why are they disturbed? But that's what I, mean. I think I don't quite, I haven't quite put it all together in terms of, you know, we'll do it with, the, you know, the graphics of last year and this year. I'm going to do this three-dimensional thing so that we can try to figure out um, which bones go together and in that jumble, how many individuals were disturbed when, in fact, these people were being buried. Mm -hmm. But it is, again, also the Northwest platform, which is a very, you know, from what we know about the Cambridge and the Mellart thing, uh, excavation is a very important platform. <laughs> and um, so that individuals that are, you know, really poor, people want to continue burying individuals in the Northwest platform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without having knowledge, perhaps, that other individuals are in there, or not worrying about um, them because maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they're separated by time or Because we want, and the other thing we want to do is you know, also see if they're related, if we know what's going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm glad that we found something. Yeah. Uh, it, it helps that you know, we have that. It certainly is, you know, gives it a better explanation as to why that happened. But all these ones that you see on top are part of the jumble. These are the ones that were disturbed for these individuals. Uh -huh. so, so you're you're still not at the same level as the disturbed individuals. The, the two. Well, that's what we're getting. This is one of them. This is the pelvis, and then this is the rib cage and the arm. So this is one individual. So we are there. Oh, I see that. You can't quite see it because I don't want to expose it yet. But um, this is one individual, and then another one we haven't quite exposed, but we have um, a series of bones in here that are uh, articulated, the, um, the clavicles mm -hmm. and the shoulder. Mm -hmm. And they would not be articulated if, in fact, they had been disturbed, but they are articulated. So I think that, in, you know, coming back to what you first said, this is the head, there's the, the, uh, the breast area, the collarbones and stuff, and then where her feet are is the pelvis. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So it, it's just deciphering it from what we see, even though, so it, it, it's possible that we're not gonna actually see that, but I, I think it's highly likely that that's a, um, an articulated individual. Highly likely. And we'll get there. We will get there, we'll see it. <laughs> Luck, yes. Bolts. Again, 
This, I think, is on top. That's it definitely is on top of that. You said you didn't want to record it. No, no, no. These two profiles. I don't clean, I mean, to brush this.
given that this person's on the side, it is kind of funny that the pelvis is turned, isn't it? And the head's turned like that. The position is also funny anyway, looking at the body. Yeah, it is very funny. It's just like... Mm -hmm. the head's a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Instead of one. Uh, Maybe this, uh, this individual was slightly uh, slight earlier than this one, and this one, and they just... Uh, All right, we, uh, this is the end of the second day of the excavation in 2001, and we continued work in, uh, uh, in the Space 158, and also in the group burial in Space 86. In 158, uh, the major changes are that we started removing the pillar for the screen wall, the northern pillar, which is the feature 156. We took off the bricks that were here, sitting on top of, of this brick, and um, trying to get down to this level on which we have uh, um, the packing within this roundish feature. We have to see what it, that is all about. Uh, so parts of the painted plaster, but just little bits, came off of the interior, painted interior wall. Uh, what's in interesting is that between the interior wall and this pillar, there was a triangular sort of layer, a thick mortar layer of a very, very um, hard clay that obviously was uh, being put between the pillar and the interior wall in order to keep them together. So uh, then we did some more work in the central part of feature 158 uh, on the floor um, here. So Carrie managed to clean um, the floor surface, the white floor surface that looks very much like the basin feature that we had on top of the same floor little more to the west last year. And then Slobodan and David uh, kept on removing the layers of the floors in the central and southern uh, part of the space, uh, trying to figure out what is the major uh, layer, uh, floor layer on which we can stop and then try to um, take that as a separate unit and go further, deeper down. Uh, also, David finished the uh, removal of the oven that was in the southwest corner of space 158. And we just have a little bit of scorched soil and, um, and some plaster fragments in the area, uh, which we will clean up later tomorrow. And we also seem to have um, the rakeout area for this little um, oven right here towards the east, and we will deal with that tomorrow as well. Um, what else? In the... In, in space 86, in the group burial, which is covered now, but let's uncover and film that a bit. They have made progress. And what we have, we have now a very articulated uh, one individual for sure, and the other individual uh, much less articulated, but uh, the skull, skull that belonged to that individual was taken out last year. And there is just the, the, the remains under the skull, which indicate where it was. So we have a, a much nicer burial than we thought we would last year when we started digging this. Okay. So that maybe you can just film this side of this uh, feature 156 a little bit. And that should, oh, another thing we have to say is Okay, so let me say also that uh, Mr. Tish and uh, Laura started drawing the south wall of the building three. 
and not just the south wall, but the double wall on the south. So the wall between the little rooms, 89, 88, 87, and uh, big building number three. And so that's going very well, and they're going to continue tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> later than uh, the majority of the floors in the house. Then we have, what else is interesting, we had a number of burials, of course, which is typical for Chapel Hill. This was one adult that was excavated last year. And then in this big uh, white platform, which was the, the highest, the most elevated in the house, and made of the, the purest white clay, and looked, looked very beautiful. We have already removed layers of floors on, on that one. It had a number of burials in it. The, the latest one was a baby buried in a basket, I mean a small mm -hmm. child. And then it had, uh, down there we have now at the moment two individuals. I can actually, I'll go in and just uh, uncover it for you. And um, buried at different times in different burial kits and stuff. So, uh, and then we had a double children oh. burial. So there is one skeleton going that way, and there was one this way, but the skull we had to remove uh -huh. because it was too much falling mm -hmm. apart. But we'll paste it in the Photoshop on the computer. Right well, we'll the the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And then we have a very interesting um, double burial here, two children buried which we have, uh, you know, excavated and removed last year. And there is a third one deeper down. We can just see this much of a skull, and the third one that was buried earlier than these two. And, um, and we are expecting, of course, to find more burials here, especially in this large platform, central platform. And possibly here, in this platform, we already can see some cuts in it. Now this would be from an uh, early stage of the house before the internal wall was put in. And then you can see a series of fire installations or little hearts uh, from different phases also. We have removed in everywhere in the house uh, like two major phases of the house already with the number of floors that belong to each phase. Is it allowed to take photographs? Yes, yes, you can take photographs. You're allowed. Don't publish. Yeah, don't publish. No. Yeah, just don't publish. <laughs> or even if you publish, then let us know. So yeah. We can it in our bibliography. That's the thing. Right. A lot of people people publish, but they never inform us about it. And uh, another inter interesting thing is that this is what we call a kitchen area here. You can see this is called like clean part of the house, clean floors, and this is the dirty floor, this is the kitchen. And this is the, where the entrance was in the house, right here. And the ladder, we, we found the, the, you know, little holes in the floor, basically, where the ladder was fixed. And, um, you know, there is this number of other problems with the whole thing. Most of the walls were uh, plastered with, with uh, thick, layers of plaster and that one was painted. We have paint on this one also but the preserved in traces. We had paint on this wall as well but very little of it was visible. And what's interesting this wall and relatively typical for Chatham Fuyuk is that above the platform on the east wall which was a special platform we had painting which was a, a black and red and that's the, just monochrome, just red. But this black and red paint faded fade so uh, quickly that we couldn't even record it. Yeah. Why, when you began the excavations again, did you choose this particular spot rather than um, where the Mallard trenches were and so on? Was that well, the, the, the excavation in Mallard trenches have been going on also. We just stopped it this year, but they had re uh, excavated yes, basically his trenches and then went even deeper and extended horizontally as well a little bit. And so new excavations are now beginning nearby on top of the mound. However, we decided to excavate here because 
nobody has excavated in this part of the mound before. And this is like, a, you know, the whole mound seems to be consisting of two, actually two mounds. When you're far away, if you look at it, you'll see that they are not, it's not one mound that's like that, it's like two mounds that meet. So we wanted to, to have, get an impression of this part of the site. And also the large portion of, of, of the top of this part of the site was straight, 40 by 40 meters. Um, was scraped and we could we we got very nice plans of house walls and we could see the organization of the houses and uh, the path between the houses and everything else. So we decided to choose one of these and and then we went for the one that seemed most interesting and complex based on this pattern of the walls and, and spaces. We also had remains uh, right here in this room. Very, very close to the surface of a large Ukrainian that was burned and was still in situ. So we thought that this would be, it would be a good point to start yeah, yeah. Uh, having no arts experiences in mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we have roots here yeah, and we analyzed roots. Yeah. We're still in the process of analyzing roots. Do you want houses only one story or can they get a right to story? Well, that's very subject to interpretation. We haven't yet made up our mind. I can't tell you. It seems that they were one story. But there are some indications that we can take care of. Yeah, it's like they have radar. Yeah, the curse was saying how familiar with it. Something you yeah. much more perceptive. Yeah. yeah. Talking about uh, uh, time. Well, for a number of people here, this was their first time excavating uh -huh. uh, at Antioch. And uh -huh. so uh, uh, it's always a challenge to begin and know where to stop and what you're looking for uh -huh. and so on. And they're doing really well. We have uh, sure, yeah. we have four workmen who do the uh, pick and shovel, which of mm -hmm. course you don't have to do. Here. Yeah, we don't. We are once here inside such a gorgeous house. We don't. Yes, want you to don't use pick and shovel. Yeah. 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 Rental tools. Yeah. That's what I see. <laughs> dental tools. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, the burials definitely we yeah. clean with dental tools. Yeah. yeah. And including, you know, 
larger tools as well. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you and good luck. Thank you very much for being interested in our site. Oh, well, we've come back. We've got three hours. How we are doing. <laughs> And I was saying to one of the people here, one of the men working with us mm-hmm. uh, comes from the area of San Francisco and knows somebody who's working with you. Oh, really? What's his name? Our yeah. person's name is Bill Orange, but I don't know the name. I stupidly didn't ask him um, what the name was of the person he knows. No. <laughs> now, you know, Bill's my age or mm-hmm. slightly older. older. Well, I was trying to. <laughs> so I, anyway, ask around, and if anybody knows Bill Orange, he sends he sends his best. Okay. <laughs> all right, Thanks. all right, good. Okay, good. We'll do that. Yes. Have you got a website we can find? Out? Oh yeah, a definitely. Good report when you. Oh, definitely. We have a, a, a website. Yes. Do you want me to give you? You can just you think type I can in find it. Yahoo. Right. Just go Chattel okay. Huyuk, right? Chattel Huyuk, and yeah, you will right. get yeah. ten. Okay. Websites, okay. and you will find really ours easily. Great, yeah, great. Thank one. you. The museum, however, should have a little booklet that we have produced some years ago about the site. So you I, I hope that they have them. They had them for sale. So if you they didn't have them two weeks ago, but nobody was here. Really? really so yeah. yeah. We'll they usually are stored in Ankara, or Istanbul, and so they need to be brought over or here, and it takes a while. And, but if you are going to go there, you, you can ask yeah, in case we'll they have it. Okay, well, well thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for your help. The real ovens at this time? Yeah. Only one. Wasn't there one over in that corner? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. that serious. Yeah. It, it wasn't of this kind. That's why I asked you. Yeah. It was, uh, now, it was more like a car. Uh, more like a we, we, we did have that third kind. Yeah, but that again was like a half rather than a dome oven. That was like a dome oven, was it? Yeah. That was the, the real one freestanding. Because it had little holes around, which uh, might have been. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have this is the real, the only one so la- serious, large, uh, ring oven. Did that have a ring? Yes. We, no, we just had a front of the floor. Yeah. And then we had uh, tons of parts. Yeah. Look at that platform. Oh, one in this one next to the other. And then we had a little fire, sort of fire installations in here. We had five of those, a different floor. Okay, I'm going to take a little walk And maybe we can come. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I love those nice well, things. Well, in the wrong place, though. Now, do I have to draw? Well, those are not there. It's out of kitchen. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what? Well, I mean, they might, you haven't had many rake-out deposits around that oven. It's all clean, isn't it? So it must have raked um, all out. This way. You had it this way? Well, no, we didn't. We didn't, we didn't find it. Remember, we had we did not have any rake deposits to the sides and to the back of the oven. It was all clean deposits. Uh, most likely that they were cleaning it. With the, the mouth was towards the east, right? And this is where we had later on put the screen wall. All right. So it all, you know, t- took care of it. I bet you'll find another reference. Probably uh, this, uh, we have a possibility of an oven in here, which is quite an unusual place. No, we found them in the northeast corner. You did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a Yeah, because this would have to be a little I remember this Yeah, yeah, we have a. It had thick deposits of like remains. If you look at that little yeah, iron no, or something like that, that's sort of yeah. thick layer that goes oh, underneath the like, So that could have been it. Does he do this all the time? Okay. Oh, I don't even notice anymore. <laughs> we just lost him. Our... That's lost on my phone. It's like the real world. This is after a while you don't notice it anymore. Do you have a video for an ethnographer? Way too much for me. Okay, I'm busy. I'm off. <laughs> well, you see, that's his specialty. 
Anthropology, that's what he's doing. He's really... How many anthropologists have we got this year? One, two... My first... Oh, God. Oh, it's fun. Have you just taken down some more just of your We just... Really nice. We just cut it up. We yeah, cut off the bits of that. And we're trying to get the rest of it out. And as soon as they are out from here, which is going to take time, we'll take that stuff out. As soon as we can. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I'm joking. I don't know. That one's way the roof. Yeah, because Ruth sees something, she sees it. No, this is much earlier. Yeah, it's yeah, earlier here, yeah, that uh, yeah, all that stuff is much later. Like yeah, that's why I have a lot of Okay, so it starts right here. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be the first line.